coming to you from Electric Lady Studios, the legendary studios. And we're sitting here with Lily Allen, who's been kind enough to uh, come and do an RxP session for us. Lily, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me. You know, the new album, It's Not Me, It's You, I love the title of that record. It just <laughs> says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> in relationships that we've been through in our time. Tell me a bit about, uh, you know, the time between making the first and second record. A lot of things that happened in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, the relationships, the couple of relationships that you were in. Mm -hmm. We've gone through some major changes that really inspired some of the stuff on the record. Mm -hmm. Would you say a lot of the songs were definitely written about those things that had gone down? Um, not really, I guess. Yeah, actually, there wasn't really much time between the first, between finishing touring the last record and starting recording this one. Um, but I guess, you know, everything that happens, you know, affects your writing in some way, doesn't it? But there's no, I haven't really written about anything, spe you know, specific specific circumstances. We think that title, though, is going to go down as like one of the all-time best titles of a CD, though. We were talking about <laughs> yeah. that earlier because there's certain ones that kind of, you know, stand the test of time, and that's definitely one of them. Yeah, <laughs> it's got a great vibe, you know, and it's how many times have we felt that way in relationships? <laughs> now, the fear is a great song. I love the, the feeling of the fear. Now, tell me a bit about the lyrics to that track. Uh, that. I guess it's a song just about being a little bit sort of disenchanted with you know, some aspects of our culture and society and, um, you know, sort of celebrity and uh, consumerism and, be, you know, aesthetic beauty and, yeah, just lo all the things that aren't actually that important but we seem to have made very important. You must feel at times of you're just always under the microscope, especially with... You know, I don't know how the tabloids are there, but, mm -hmm. you know, here we have those same sort of websites and mm -hmm. same sort of, you know, magazines. And it's always about, you know, for a year they were all about Lily Allen. That mm -hmm. had to be maddening for you. Um, yeah, it was pretty insane. It still is. It's pretty crazy now. But, you know, it's um, it's just a part of, part of my life that I deal with. Feeling <laughs> to turn it off. I can't really. It's there all the time. So I ca it's not really es escapable. It's just something you learn to live with, you know. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I think one of the things that people appreciate about you, too, is that you're very outspoken. I mean, you'll say exactly what's on your mind, and people appreciate that because so many people are afraid, mm -hmm. and they want to walk the politically correct, correct line all the time. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think that's one thing that I think is very cool. I want to be rich, and I want lots of money. I don't care about clever. I don't care about funny. I want loads of clothes, and I want loads of diamonds. I heard people die while they try. I'll take my clothes off and it will be shameless Cause everyone knows that's how you get famous I'll look at the sun and I'll look in the mirror I'm on the right track, yeah I'm on to a winner And I don't know what's right and wrong still anymore And I don't know how I'm meant to feel Life's about film stars and less about mothers It's all about fast cars and cussing each other But it doesn't matter cause I'm packing plastic And that's what makes my life so fantastic And I am a weapon of massive consumption And it's not my fault, it's how I'm programmed to function
Joe Strummer is your godfather, right? Or was well, he, your godfather? Yeah, course. he was. I mean, he, I mean, he was never, never actually christened my godfather, but we could kind of that was the term that we used to use for him. Every, well, everyone in my family did. Yeah, he's a very close friend of my father's. Yeah. What's your first memory of uh, of listening to music and, and really being inspired by music? <clears throat> I don't know, you know, it's just, music was just constant in my, you know, household ever since I was a kid, so it doesn't, it never really occurred, life without music never really existed, do you know what I mean? It was just always on. What was your, what was your family listening to? Can you remember some of the early stuff? Um, my mum was really into, you know, like the Clash and the Slits and the Sex Pistols and, um, my dad was into, um, really bad bands like UB40. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad was a musician, right? Was no, he? no, no, he wasn't. He is an, he's an actor. But he, I mean, he does he does get involved in, in music, but he's not, first and foremost, he's an actor. And your mom is, you know, a film producer. She's mm -hmm. done Shaun of the Dead, right? Yeah, movies. yeah, yeah. She's done lots of films. She did Elizabeth and, um, yeah, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, she's done loads of stuff. Now let's talk about a couple of the other songs that you're going to do for us today. 22, mm -hmm. now uh, close to your age, of course, at this point in time. Yeah. And you're looking forward to this person's life who's now 30 and kind yeah. of looking back. Tell me, was there, a, was there a person in particular that inspired that or was that a group of people, lyrically? Um, I, get, I mean, it was inspired by one particular person, but as with most of my songs, they can kind of be, you know, generalized <laughs> to other people. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, it's about, you know, a friend of mine who... You know, probably partied a little bit too hard and kind of, um, you know, the years went by and she suddenly sort of left out in the cold a bit. But, um, yeah, that's what the song's about. <laughs> She's nearly 30. to do and there's nothing to say 